want to teach you how to make ceviche today. And there's two things that I want to emphasize with you right off the bat. Number one, the best thing you can do, and this is where fishermen have a huge advantage, and that's what I'm doing here right now, is to use really fresh fish. The species sometimes doesn't even matter. I've made ceviche out of barracuda. I've made it out of yellowtail tuna. All kinds of different species of fish. The key is freshness. And the second thing that I want to emphasize is make it your own creation. There's a few basics that I'll cover with you, okay? And things that you have to do when you're making ceviche. And I studied down in Mexico. When I say that, I mean, when I saw a cook behind the counter making ceviche, I'd jump back there and ask questions. So I have that kind of local knowledge about how to make a good ceviche. But make it your own. Who am I to tell you to put bell pepper in your ceviche if you don't like bell pepper? or you don't like garlic or whatever it is. So make it your own creation for sure. So let's get into it. We've got some fresh fish. It's time to make a really delicious, healthy ceviche. Fresh fish is the key. And here in Southern California in the springtime, we start to catch more and more fish right in the surf. Unfortunately today, all I could come up with was one yellowfin croaker. And that's not gonna be enough for all of you. So. It's time to bring in the heavy hitter, my good friend, Captain Greg Watson. He's got a beautiful little boat over there out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. And Greg said, hey, Phil, I'm heading out. I hear you're going to make ceviche. I'll bring you some rockfish. So I said, Greg, you are the man. So him and his lovely wife, Melanie, went out to fish for rockfish. There are over 60 different species of rockfish in Southern California. They're brightly and beautifully colored. They live in the depths in the cold water, and they are absolutely perfect for ceviche. One interesting thing about rockfish is that they can live some species to up to 200 years. Really incredible and perfect for our dish today. right from the filet board on board the fishing boat to our kitchen. And just look at this fish. It is so fresh, so beautiful. It looks so good. And remember, oh my God, when you smell fish, it should not smell fishy. I like to say it should smell kind of like of the sea, that fresh smell that you get when you get down to the ocean. That's what this fish should smell like and that's one of the biggest keys having fresh fish once again for fishermen it's really easy but if you're going to buy your fish you want it to be beautiful like that you don't want any brown marks on it and you want it to smell fresh like the sea that's the best way to judge your fish by sight and smell so let's get to it. Let's turn this beautiful fish into some delicious ceviche. By the way, that little patch of skin, that's so the fish and wildlife people can identify what kind of fish it is. Now, while we're doing this, we've got fresh fish. If you can go fresh on everything else, it is highly recommended. Whether you go out and pick some fresh avocados or you go out and find either lemons or limes, limes are probably the more preferable, but when I can find a fresh lemon, I'll go with that every single time. If you can do it, do it. If you have to use store-bought, go ahead, but don't use the bottled lemon or lime juice. You've got to get it straight from the fruit itself. So let's get rid of that little patch of skin. That's easy to do, it just peels right off. And then it's time to examine the filet for any bones that might be left over. If you find some, like I did just there, just cut them away and discard them. You don't want any bones in your ceviche. So now we're gonna take this really fresh fish, cube it up, and then put it to marinate in our fresh lime or lemon juice. Just make sure you've got all the fish covered with that fresh juice. 
put it in the fridge for two to three hours. Come back later to finish it off. Dice up some tomatoes, some onions, and then you can start to do what you like to do. I like a bell pepper in there. I think it adds color and it's really delicious. So that's something you can toss in there. You don't want to forget your cilantro, that is for sure. And also some celery is also a good idea. Don't be afraid to add something else that you like, like jalapenos. I like some extra virgin olive oil. I feel like it makes the salt and pepper really adhere to this delicious mixture. Salt and pepper, make sure it tastes really good. And now you're getting closer. We're going to pour off the excess juice. Leave a little bit, but pour off most of it. And then add more salt and pepper to the fish to make sure it is properly seasoned also. And now, of course, it's time to bring this all together. We're going to add our fish to the vegetables that we've chopped up, mix it all in together, and it should be absolutely delicious. One little trick that some cooks will use, and that is that they will add a little Clamato juice. Not bad. I like that. And if you find that it's a little bit too acidy, you can add some tomato ketchup to give it a little sweetness if you like. And like I said, make the creation your very own. Some folks around here love avocado in their ceviche, so I am going to comply, add avocado, and in the end, we have a beautiful, delicious, wonderfully healthy dish. Ceviche from fresh fish caught yesterday. <laughs>